Okay, let's correct the flickering and shutting off problems with these LED lights on a 2015 Dodge Ram. First things first, we're gonna get these two bolts out. They are both 10 millimeters. There's one down in here somewhere or another. Kinda see it. That particular bolt is kinda long and it's deep in there so you'll need extensions and I use a power drill. All right, the next one is right up front. I just used a little ratchet wrench and got it off real quick. Now, make sure you turn your wheel all the way to the right and there's a little compartment right up in here. You're gonna open it up. It has a little rivet snappy in thingy and there's a little white clip in there. It's hard to see, but it's up in there. You're gonna pull down on it to release the light from the back side of the lamp. Once you have the two bolts out and the white clip pulled down, release the lamp from the grill in first. Then there's just a clip back here for the harness and you release it. And then these bolts right here, they're all eight millimeter. I put tape on some of my tools just in case it touch other wire. All right, this little cover will expose all the wiring and bugs. You'll just unclip this and click in the decoder. Okay, so the decoder has two ends and you'll take one end and clip it to the ballast and the other end to the harness for the vehicle. Once complete, all of the wire should fit right inside of the housing. Then you'll cover it up and screw it back together. Head back out to the vehicle. This is where that long screw goes into. It has this special little thing on there that kind of helps the screw guide in there from such a long distance. Once you get everything lined up, go ahead and get it started manually and then I went on ahead with the power drill. I tested the light after putting the harness back in just to make sure everything was working properly before I went ahead and tighten everything back down. And you just do this process in reverse. Both 10 millimeters cinched down, white clip back up, and close the little housing door. Just an FYI, I did both sides. However, I didn't record the passenger side. Everything was done the same way, just on the passenger side. There's nothing new or different in the way of any of the bolts or anything like that. I then tested the lights out. We'll just have to see what it looks like at night to make sure they don't flicker or turn off on themselves. Bye.